Well, I'll tell you what, it has been a laugh and a half today. I've been working really, really hard, but that's good because hopefully when you're working hard, you're making money. It's been a really good day. Wednesday, I always find it a bit sticky. Don't know if you find that too. Anyway, I've been talking about how we can make more money doing the career exchange. Number one is save money. Take your flask with you. Take two flasks, save double the money. I don't know. But I wanted to talk about negotiation. So I put a bid on a job at about, I don't know, maybe about half one, two o'clock. Kind of forgot about it. Uh, but I put a price on of 85 quid, which is great because I can make money at 85 quid. About half past four in the afternoon, coming towards the end of the day, no, the geezer rings me up and says, oh, no, you know, he said, you put, a, put the bid on uh, for 85 pound. Um, can you do it? And I went, yeah, I can do the job. Yeah, no problem at all. Oh, he said, but we need you to do it for 70. I'm going, well, I can't do it for 70. You know, I bid £85 on it. You know, I said, I just can't make money on it at 70. Um, okay, well, can you do it for 75? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. So like, I quoted £85, which is where I need to be to make money. No, I need, I need you to come down. I, I can't. And I said, look, I'll tell you what, can you do 80? Because, you know, it's quarter five now. And I'm thinking, you know, he wants to get that job covered and go home. And I want a job for the morning. I said, tell you what, I'll do 80 on it. How's that? Oh, yeah. He said, oh, he said, can't we do 75? No. He said, I want to be doing 85. But, you know, we, we can do 80. Went, okay, great. Um, and I said, now, I said, let's just check the address. He said, it is the town that you said. It's not like the far side of that town. It's kind of in the centre. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, just before you go, I said, waiting time. Oh, yeah, it'll be ready. Don't worry about it. Okay. I said, so you'll pay waiting time. If they're, you know, if I'm sat there for 10 minutes, you'll stop paying waiting time. Oh, no, we only pay for them, like, after a half hour. But hang on. I said, come down on price. I said, you've told me it's ready. I said, but you're not prepared to pay waiting time. So I will do it for 80 quid, providing it's ready. And if it's not ready, I said, you know, I don't mind if there's a little bit of a faff. I said, but after 10 minutes, I want waiting time paid. And I said, and you've got a fiver off the job. You can't have it both ways. Said, oh, okay, then. So it just shows you... Don't let people hammer you down on price. If they phoned you, you're the guy that they want to do the job. So, you know, now and again, maybe you come down a couple of quid, but by and large, stick to your price. Don't let it be that every time a company rings you, they're beating you down on price. Don't let that happen. Now and again, it's kind of okay to negotiate a little bit. And to be honest, I, I priced it a little bit high, so I'm not disappointed with what I got. But, don't let people bid you down. Bid what you want to get for the job. And don't be one of these people who thinks, oh, you know, if I'm earning £12 an hour, I'm great. They're paying you for doing the job, but they're also paying for the maintenance on your van, which is not part of your hourly wage, and they're also paying you for the time that you are sat waiting for a job. Because, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You, it's, uh, you've, you've got to you've got to factor those things in. Does that make sense? I do hope so. So don't get beaten down on price. Uh, not too much anyway, and certainly not all the time. Now and again, negotiate, but don't make a habit of it and take your flask. It will save you quids. All right, stay lucky. I'll see you later.